Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick from the Crystal Struck Tarot deck and I'll go ahead and pick some cards from other decks to clarify the cards that we pick. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we got the King of Swords. Also, can we just admire how pretty these cards are? Okay, Golden Embossed cards for the win. Let's go and pick a couple more cards. Okay, a lot of air energy, King of Swords, Ten of Swords. Definitely, this is someone who is, um, you know, busy with work, has a lot of responsibilities at work in their life to their community okay and this is something that really stresses them out i do feel like this person works really really hard and this person cares a lot about you know getting ahead in life this is someone who uh, could be very much in their masculine energy at least when it comes to work at least when it comes to finances career life material life okay and this is something like you know they are kind of like stressed out right now so i feel like if they haven't contacted you it's really not personal um this is a pretty like stressful period in their life okay at least you know right now whatever's going on Maybe they could be up for a promotion or like, you know, King of Swords usually represents like, you know, climbing higher up and having more responsibilities. And, um, you know, Ten of Swords has to do with like being a little bit stressed out, you know, kind of just being in their head a lot. So I'm seeing that, you know, if this person doesn't contact you as much or, you know, whatever the case may be, it's really not personal. OK, but let's go and pick some more cards here. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups, a lot of Ten energy. OK, so I really love this. I love how we pivoted from like the Ten of Swords to Ten of Cups, two very, very different cards, despite having the same number also there's a green bus that just passed by that said go i don't even know what it says but i just saw like the last letters it says go so it's like green flags okay like it's almost like um you know the universe is saying like this is this is a go like this is something that you should do this is something that you know the universe wants you to engage in okay um of course it's up to you whether or not you still want this person but i am seeing you know this ten of cups is a really 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 good card to get this is like literally one of the soulmate cards this is the happy ending happy marriage happy family long-term committed relationship type of card here okay so um yeah i do feel like you know it, you are able to help this person transmute this Ten of Swords energy to Ten of Cups. Like, they feel so good being around you. They feel so good being around your energy, okay? Like, they could be, you know, stressed out at work. They could be going through their everyday life. And then, you know, they'll just, like, you know, meet you. Or, like, you know, they'll, like, even look at your pictures or you'll hang out with them or, you know, they'll be in your presence. And immediately, you know, they'll feel that much better. They'll feel really, like, you know, good. They'll feel really at peace, at ease, you know, really calm, okay? So you do have a very, like, you know, positive impact on this person. And I feel like this person has thought about what it would be like to settle down with you, to even move in with you, perhaps even start a family with you. Like, they have thought about their future with you. They really do think that, you know, your wifey, your husband, maybe you're someone that they can have you know something long term and committed with okay i feel like you've changed your energy so much that you're getting really really close to manifesting a healthy committed long-term relationship and you know the best part is that there's a lot of emotional satisfaction a lot of emotional fulfillment here like this person is really really emotionally fulfilled by this connection by you okay they do consider this connection to be like you know, perfect in every single way possible. I'm just seeing that, you know, the only obstacles are their work. Maybe you could be in different locations because of their work or your work or something along the lines of that, okay? But let's go and pick some more cards to see what else is going on. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay, so... I'm getting some earth sign energy. I'm also getting, you know, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm getting uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well. So, yeah, I feel like with this queen of pentacles, this person loves that, you know, you are, you're a boss in life. You're doing so much with your life. You're ambitious. You're a high achiever. You're good at doing what you do. You're just, you know, you're killing it at life. Like, you're slaying it at life. You know, you have an amazing life. You're very abundant, okay? You have an abundance mindset. I feel like for a lot of you, you could even be a little bit delulu, like delusionally positive okay it's like even if something goes wrong you're just like nope this is something that's going to help me uh you know achieve what i want this is something that's going to help me lead me to where i want to be okay um yeah i just feel like you know you and this person you make a really good couple you really understand each other on a deep level you really understand you know how the other person works i do feel like at times you know but the both of you could you know i don't want to say like closed off but the both of you do have you know pretty strict boundaries in place i feel like you know even at the king of swords this is someone who you know while he is capable of depth and feeling things like uh he doesn't like openly wear his heart on his sleeve like he's not like openly like you know always romantic all the time it's like you know he is a little bit um careful with the way that he talks with the way that he expresses himself okay and same with the queen of pentacles this is you know also someone who's warm kind-hearted caring loving i feel like you know the both of you like know you like each other the both of you know that there is a connection here for sure but the both of you have been a little bit you know quiet in terms of um 
you know like telling each other how you feel okay I, I i feel like this person hasn't like fully told you yet or like they haven't expressed the full depth of their emotions but that doesn't mean they never will because we did get this ten of cups this is something that the both of you want you know there's a lot of mutual energy here a lot of mutual love okay reciprocity for sure let's go and pick some more cards out we got the knight of pentacles okay so yeah i feel like you know this person definitely wants to make you an offer but they're that they want to be really sure about it like this is someone who thinks like not just you know once twice thrice like they think really hard and deep about certain things and, you know they realize that you're the only one that truly fulfills them you're the only one they truly want to be with they feel like this is worth it this they feel like this is worth investing in okay this connection is definitely worth investing in uh we also got the king of wands wow okay so um yeah i'm getting some fire sign energy here by the way a lot of earth energy taurus virgo capricorn um yeah king of wands you know this is again someone who's really ambitious someone who has a lot going on um you know in their life this is someone who is really well off or you know they're working on being well off i do feel like you know finances and material life is something that they care about perhaps they have like a nice car a nice apartment or you have that or they're working towards that okay but i am seeing like this person like you know wants to pursue this connection full forward like they want to pursue you um and you know they're going to be a lot more vocal about doing so they're going to be a lot more active about doing so okay i feel like this knight of pentacles you know going from the knight of pentacles to the king of wands is very very um you know it, it's a good sign okay it's a sign that you know this person does want stability you know they don't want to like love bomb they don't want to like act too fast but also at the same time you know they don't want to let this moment go like you know seize the day carpe diem so yeah um we got the two of cups this is literally another soulmate card you got two soulmate cards in your reading this is meant to be okay this is happening this is panning out in the most beautiful way possible it's like spirit is telling you trust the process okay trust the universe because it is bringing this connection to you in the best way possible in a way where it's going to be long lasting because this person wants permanence in this connection they want long-term stability okay and like this is someone again you know they've been thinking really deeply about you deeply about this connection and it does take them you know a little bit to commit it does you know like they're really careful in the way that they go about making decisions but they realize that it's you i feel like all the signs are pointing towards you like you know they see signs of you a lot maybe like you know songs that you listen to or like certain inside jokes that you had or like you know certain things um that you've experienced together like they've been seeing signs of those so it's like the universe is literally pushing them to you okay um oh my gosh no way you got the two of cups again this is such a nice reading i love this so much okay this is literally my first reading of the day but i absolutely love the energy the both of you are into each other equally this person does love you i'm seeing that you're going to be seeing their name more often you're going to be seeing their birthday you're going to be seeing signs of them and that is the sign that they're thinking about you so if you are a friend for them if you are manifesting them it is 1000 working okay um yeah we also got here the four of cups literally like no one else does it like you they feel so bored with anyone else okay like it, you're the only person that they want to be with you're the only person that they feel these deeper feelings for and like that's a big thing because it's been a while since this person has felt this way about anyone okay and they're you know they're they've been kind of playing it safe like they want to make sure that you know this is in the bag they want to make sure that this lasts the long while because like they cannot go through another heartbreak and neither can you you're at i'm seeing like the both of you are at your end but like also speaking of end like you know this person considers you to be their end game okay like they really feel like uh there's so much potential for this connection to really take off and like again they're so bored with other people it's like even if they have gone on dates with other people or you know they've dated people before you you know when you came into their life you showed them what real love was you showed them you know a real connection and because because of that like you know they're, they're holding on to this so tightly i feel like you know if you're single they're single this person could be manifesting you the reason why like you know maybe you haven't uh dated anyone else or you don't even feel like dating anyone else is because you know deep down like this is meant to happen this is meant to be the both of you really want each other and it's like no one else even satisfies you i do feel like this is your soulmate for a lot of you okay oh my gosh wow okay let me go ahead and pick some more cards to see what else is going on yeah we got you're like an angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me seriously you've had such a positive impact on this person and like this person doesn't want to let this go like you know you made such a big deep impact on their life they're just like yeah i have to be with this person i'm grateful i met you are you sure you're real yeah so sometimes they're just like wow i can't believe this happened it kind of happened out of nowhere and you completely ended up changing their life you inspired them to be a better version of themselves you know like again you're the first person that they felt for felt anything for in a while okay so um this is something that they're not ready to let go and they're gonna do whatever it takes to be with you okay like if this person has been a little bit passive so far uh we got two kings here so they're gonna be very active in pursuing you pursuing this connection okay so i am seeing a lot of positive movement coming your way for sure in regards to this connection so yeah anyways i will go ahead and end the reading right here i really hope this helps you know take what resonates something what doesn't you always have for you in your reality i do want to let you know that i offer in-depth readings as well as manifestation coaching and i also custom make subliminal 
channel. So if you are interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you'll find my website and you can sign up for those services through the, through the website. And yeah, I will end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.